Teragnes Dantium by Thomas L. Schumacher, um, Princeton Architectural Press. Um, analyzes and describes the monument to Dante, commissioned by Mussolini in 1938, to be built by the architect Giuseppe Teragni, 1904-1943, the time he lived. The monument would be considered as utopian, not only because it was never built, but because it was represented through the poems of Dante as informing the communist space of the fascist state. And this is a reading from page 39. While the, manif while the manifest function of the Dantium was to serve as a museum and library, housing all the available editions of Dante's works, as well as works on Dante, the major spaces of this large building were designed to represent the canticles of the Divine Comedy, intended as a symbol of what Dante represented in politics, Italian unification and imperial pretensions. The appropriateness of choosing a site in the Villa dell'Imperio Street of the Empire across the street from the Basilica of Maxentius and the Constantine, was well recognized by Terracne as confirmation of Dante's dowry of prophecy. For Terracne, Dante represented the ancient and the medieval. Mussolini, however, was a rabid Romanist, and the Middle Ages was not a healthy period for the Roman Empire. Despite this seeming conflict, Dante's imperial prophecy was strong enough when coupled with viv vivid imagery of the empire's future for Mussolini to accept him as an empire poet. Taragni chose a relationship of medieval to ancient as a primary inspirational idea and incorporated it into the Dantium site and building program. Because the Dantium was neither simply a government building nor a monument to Italian war dead, a typical 1930s program throughout Europe, it possessed a dimension for the Italians that superseded political symbolism and patriotism.